Hey guys, and welcome to another draft analysis with the Pripyat Persians. This draft is a Catmons gimmick draft. That means that you're getting Nat decks and Catmons all together in the same tier list. So every week is going to have a gimmick that changes the rules of the game. This is an example weakness policy. It, uh, you can only use your lower attacking stat to attack. So it's small rule changes that make the battles interesting. So how the draft works is each pick is spun on a randomized wheel. Each pick must have at least three Pokemon within its specification. So I would pick high tier fire with flamethrower and it res would result in something that, I don't know, I don't know how many Pokemon have flamethrower in the high tier, but it would probably be more than three Pokemon. Those Pokemon would then be spun on a wheel, and I would get whatever it lands on. But, the last round of each tier can be a pick three, which means that you can use one parameter, like, let's say, high tier fire, and you get to spin the wheel three times, and you get to choose from those three. Your Terra Captains are whatever your funny category pick is, which you pick and you do not spin, and your lowest voted tier pick. So. Your low tier uh, has three Pokemon inside of it, and at the end of the draft, we have a, a voting system that goes on, and everybody votes for... These are the gimmicks that we are going to be dealing with this season in order of schedule. So we got week one here and week eight here. I'm going to leave these here. If you guys want to read through them, feel free. But we're going to go through it every week at the beginning of the week, so I'm not too worried about it. Our first pick was High Tier Bug with Substitute. And as you can see, we had a possible of eight Pokemon to uh, spin from here. There was Buzzswole, Volcarona, Caesar, Mega Caesar. We ended up with our first Catmon. Oromoth. So this is a Psychic Bug type with Dragon Dance and Tail Glow. Can heal up with Wish, and it has a lot of good coverage moves overall. It's got close combat for Rock types. It's got like literally one move of every type, I think. So uh, this thing it can cover its weaknesses. Its special attack and attack are super high. And it's got Dragon Dance to make it attacking sets fast. I mean, 94 isn't a speed tier to be worried about either. That's like, that's pretty good. So yeah, this was our first pick, and we ended up spinning it. I was kind of hesitant at first. I was a little bit sad, but this thing, the coverage and the boosts it gets is just insane. With our second pick, I was like, mm, we will probably need a Dark type resist. So let's go into Fairy, and let's get the Fairies with Body Press. So that was Diancy Mega and Kerfluffle. I don't know what that last one was, I didn't even pay attention. But uh, we ended up with Kerfluffle here. So this is our second Catmon. Kerfluffle is a Fighting Fairy type with a very high special attack stat. You wouldn't expect it to be high in special attack by the look of it, you know, big punching gloves type of deal. You'd expect its attack to be higher, but its special attack is actually higher. So it's that four times dark resist I was looking for. Got pretty lucky with that. It's got vacuum wave for priority. One thing that's super weird about this cat mod, it gets fly, but it doesn't get calm mind. With a special attacker, I would expect it to have some sort of, you know, like, calm mind nasty plot type of thing. But it gets fly? I don't know why, <laughs> but just an, inter an interesting little tidbit about Kerfluffle here. Our third high tier pick was high tier Dragon Neutral to Fairy. So we were looking for something to resist the Fairy moves at this point, and not just die to them instantly, but we also wanted a Dragon type. 
So we could have gotten Astrolotl, Archelodon, or Gouging Fire, I believe. So we finally got off the cat moss. Here's Gouging Fire. You know what he's about. Dragon Dance, Scale Shot, Burning Bulwark, Morning Sun is just some of the moves that I wanted to highlight because I think Burning Bulwark is sick. And uh, I haven't gotten to use him yet. I'm using his buddy, Raikou, in my uh, Nat Dex League currently. But yeah, I was fortunate enough to get my Dragon Fire type here. And uh, big defense, big attack. We'll see how it goes. We are now breaking into the mid steel neutral. I mean, we are now breaking into the mid category. So, as you saw in the last pick, I didn't do a pick three because it was actually better for me to give two parameters to try and get my uh, dragon fire type compared to trying to pick three and potentially not getting any of them. So there is some strategy to your pick three on the last pick and or just trying to lock in one of the good three mons that you see. Here we ended up with Bronzong. So originally I was going for Neviathan because uh, I didn't realize that abilities were actually taking, um, taking effect into the effectiveness of things. I didn't realize abilities actually counted, so that was my bad. But we got bronze on here. Body press, iron defense, levitate, heat proof. Two great abilities, honestly. So I'm not really mad with uh, this pick because I get some good uh, immunities that way. And it gets stored power, which uh, I hope to screw with a little bit this season. I didn't know it got stored power, but being a psychic type, that's pretty cool. Bronzong, you know, it's it's a very heavily used Mon, so it doesn't need much of an explanation. Excited to use it, though. I haven't used it in draft yet. Our second mid-tier here. Immune to Ghost in Lern's U-Turn. So essentially, normal in Lern's U-Turn. There is a lot more Mons here than I had previously thought. Cyclozar, Swellow, Pidgeot Mega, Mousehold, Silvalli. I was just... There was... I really only wanted Star Raptor, Pidgeot Mega, or um, Zoro Kisui. And I didn't realize there was this many, so I got lucky enough to get Star Raptor. So I haven't used Star Raptor since, you know, back in my Diamond and Pearl days when uh, you catch your Starly and you go fly around on it. But he's my ghost immunity. I definitely needed this normal type because uh, I just keep rolling psychic types by mistake has intimidate so i mean intimidate u-turn is kind of a cool little combo it also has reckless i didn't put down reckless but reckless with double edge and brave bird it's pretty cool you know it'll be hitting uh big moves that's for sure big moves so this was our first pick three here and we can only pick one parameter so i went rapid spin in the mid tier and my choices were a Catmon in Carabolt, Reggie Alecki, or Blastoise. And again, I didn't realize how many of the Rapid Spenders there really were in here. So, I uh, ended up with Blastoise, which is actually the one that I wanted. Because I needed that water type. He's got Rapid Spin, he's got Shell Smash, and he's got Body Press. A lot of these Pokemon, for some reason, are ended up with Body Press high defense body press type of mons here. But yeah, I haven't used Shell Smash Blastoise. I use these Shell Smash Torterra. I have Shell Smash Tur Turtonator in my... I decided that I should probably choose my funny category mon because I was the last pick in the draft, which means that I get the wheel. And if I didn't pick it here, I was going to basically have slim pickings for uh, the funny category when it came back around to me. So, I decided to get ahead of the curve, and I got Terra Bastiodon. So I didn't have to spin for him, I just picked him. And, I mean, that defense, man. It's I don't know what it is about me and body press, I just kept getting body pressers, and it's gonna be fun. He also gets Metal Burst, which I think is cool, and I might run that set. I mean, 
He's four times the fighting, so he really could, like, take a hit and then send it right back. But, I mean, he's my terror captain, so... I can make him anything I want, gets rid of that, uh... Four times... Gets rid of that four times weakness. Next, we had the low-tier ghost ground type. So, Palosand, um... Runigris and Golurk were all in the low tier, and I needed this uh, type to be res to be immune to fighting, be immune to normal, and be immune to electric. So we have Golurk here. Choice Klutz, which is actually really cool, especially for week one, because Klutz doesn't let you fling. So if I'm using Klutz, I don't have to fling. That'll be a cool interaction in week one. Iron Fist, just big attacks, big hits, and as I said, the three immunities. His attack stat is pretty high for this uh, low tier Pokemon, but yeah, he's my first low tier. He is eligible for being the Terra Captain. Our second low tier was low tier with Limber. This was me trying to get Ditto, and as you can see, it did not work out. We got Lipard, but Lipard was voted our Terra Captain. Lipard gets unburdened. So, hopefully I can take advantage of that, you know, especially week one with Fling, and everybody has to bring Fling, so we'll see how that works out. But. We can get the unburdened type of... I, I mean, I almost always have an unburdener on my teams, too. Like, a body press and unburdened, I somehow always end up with. Not to mention Prankster. I mean, back in the day when this could roar, and they had to literally, like, ban it and nerf it and all that good stuff. Prankster will be fun, especially in the dark type, right? And, uh... The only problem is I'm super weak to dark on a lot of my team and sometimes I couldn't help it and sometimes I was like whatever just I'm gonna I'm just gonna go in on it we got that four times resist and hopefully we can take advantage of him with Lipart as well going into some sort of Terra and then uh, hitting him right back with I don't know Terra, Terra Blast fighting something like that the other thing with the Terra captains is they can learn Terra Blast even if they don't learn it originally which is cool so yeah we got Lipard as our second Terra Captain. Our last pick, I went for low tier grass. My three was Exeterloa, Bramblegast, and Ferroseed. Not what I was looking for. I was looking for one of the Catmons, actually. But we got Bramblegast. Another Pokemon weak to dark. <laughs> It gets spikes and rapid spin, which is pretty cool. Good spin blocker, too. So hopefully with all these ghost types, we don't really uh, see our hazards going away. I mean, we got Bashudon with stealth, stealth Rocks. I think Golurk even gets Stealth Rocks. Like, we're going to hopefully be putting up hazards and, uh, yeah. Strength Sap. Shadow Sneak. Brimblegast overall has some pretty cool sets and some, uh, a couple of good moves like Strength Sap, like, Getting rid of all that attack on the other team is pretty good. But yeah, not what we wanted, but we can deal with it. Especially just getting another Rapid Spinner, right? We got Defoggers, we got Rapid Spinners. I think we're good to go. But yeah, that'll wrap up this draft. This Catmon's Nat Dex Gimmick League draft. Hopefully it'll spice up a bit of my uh, draft league content here. And uh, make sure that you like and subscribe, especially if you're new. This draft is being held in the Pokemon New Generation server. I'll leave the link to that server in the description. Make sure you join it if you're interested. See you guys in week one.